How's it going guys? It's your host Aku here and welcome to our brand new let's play that's going to be happening on the channel and that is Kirby Squeeze Squad. Now to really get into, oops, let me can, let me skip that. Um, so let's hit that star button there. So I do want to give a little bit of a backstory before we really get into it. Uh, but first, uh, how about you leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you really enjoy the video. Um, of course, you could do that right after watching this video. But anyways, getting to the actual little bit of a backstory here. So I got this game as a Christmas gift along with my Nintendo DS Lite that I used to pl play all the time. But no, I no longer have because like fucking water damage and shit. But um, this is actually one of those... This is one of the few games that I've did 100% on my first playthrough and yeah I'm about to tell you right now this game is very easy and mind you this was made by the same people that made Kirby in the Amazing Mirror and a lot of people and I didn't know this this game was referred to as Kirby and Amazing Mirror 2 but really it plays like a traditional Kirby game if anything um, I've seen reviews on how, like, the game is, like, really easy and shit, and, you know, I can understand where that's coming from. But this is a game that I've used to play when I was a child, so... How about we get into the story? Early in the afternoon in Dreamland. It's so peaceful that even the clouds are drowsy. And now it's Kirby's favorite time of the day, snack time. Today's yummy snack is a sweet, fluffy slice of strawberry shortcake. Time to begin! Whoa! The cake Kirby was about to eat was suddenly vanished. That scrumptious berry-topped slice of mouth-watering goodness. No doubt about it, it must be the work of that greedy King Dedede. Well, no time to waste. Gotta get that cake back. And that's how Kirby's latest fantastic adventure begins. Also, compared to Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, um, this plot is a bit more, um, or at least the conflict is a bit more simplistic, if anything. Um, this is one of four Kirby games, and I think and out of all the Kirby games for the DS, uh, this is the only one being the most um, traditional. Um, of course, there's also there's also Kirby um, Superstar uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra, which is a remake. And there is also Kirby Mass Attack, and there's also um, Kirby Kirby in the Rainbow's Curse. Or I think it's. Fuck, I don't think I've, I've, I've never said the name correctly, uh, but those two are um, heavily related with the stylus, if anything. This game technically does too, but as you can pretty much tell, the bottom screen is indicated with Kirby's stomach, which, we'll, which I'll get more into in a minute. Um, another interesting fact is that um, the game was developed by Flagship, the same creators that did Kirby and Amazing Mirror. And I believe this was their last game they ever developed. Um, I believe Flagship was like a division part of Capcom, which I believe they were also responsible for the, the Legend of Zelda uh, Oracle games. I'm not sure if I mentioned that when I did my Let's Play of... Um, of Kirby and Amazing Mirror, which, by the way, you should check it out. Oh! Pop to pop, power up. That's where the touchscreen comes in. So, actually, I'm playing this on an emulator, um, but normally you would use a stylus, tap on the bubble, and you get to change your ability. You can also mix and match of the combination, which I can get more into that later. I actually test played this game before too, so... Uh... Oh yeah. I guess now is the time for me to actually mix. For 
Here we go. We got a max tomato. If I ever need it later on. Which probably won't be anytime soon. Uh, before anyone uh, says so, uh, yes, I will be doing this. I will be getting all the treasures, which is the objective of this game. I'm going to collect every single treasures because that's that's part of 100%. And I think I will also play some of the mini games later on. After I get through the main story and whatnot. Um, the game is really easy to 100%. There's no, there's barely any challenge there, so I will be doing 100%. There's really no reason for me not to. Fuck. <laughs> missed, the, missed the food. I missed the food, damn it. Yeah, I hope you guys act, um, ho hopefully you guys really like the layout that I created here. It's, it's not much, but you know, try to make things a bit more presentable in a way. Since this is like a DS game, I wanted to make sure to be presentable with, um, with the presentation of this video layout. I am doing this on an emulator. I do own the actual game, but since I don't have a capture card, I don't have a capture card, so there's no way to be able for me to be able to record this on an actual hardware, unfortunately. And since like getting equipment for for the DS and 3DS, uh, they're kind of limited. I was hoping to not get damaged, but hey. Thank you. Oh, I believe I can also do this. There we go. Very nice. I can create icy bridge. Very nice. I love seeing that. Believe, yeah, I want to change. Want to change my copy ability to now Animal Kirby. Here we go. Oh, that's right. I don't. I can't do that. Um, I can't do that ability yet. Sorry you're hearing the clicking of my controller. Oh yeah, that's right. There's um, there's a mechanic where you get the special treasures. For every time you collect one, uh, you have to deal with the Squeak Squad. Um, I believe the name... This one is Spenny. Which uh, has a gender uh, crisis. Because apparently... Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I look at the information about, like, the characters, and every time I see that character, it's either referred to as a she or a he, and depending on the games, for some reason. It it's kind of like Bird all over again, <laughs> if, if you get my drift. But yeah, you gotta be dealing with... One of those squeak members. Uh, there's the Roach, there's Storo, there's Spenny, the one we saw earlier, and then there's Doc. And then I wanted to do that move. Oh well. Oh wait, no, I can do. No. Fuck. Ah, so close. Let me do it with you. There we go. Give me a hug! No. Fuck. Give me a hug! Gotcha. I was gonna give you a hug, but fuck off. 
Ah, not this fucker. Here we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna need room, so just do that. Alright. There we go! Let's go crazy with this lollipop. Invincibility! Oops, can't carry that. Ah! Uh, here we go. Time to burn this fat ass. Here we go. Yeah, they're pretty easy to deal with, in all honesty. It's not like I can't outrun them, unfortunately. I mean, you can't always outrun them, unfortunately, so sometimes you have to, like, somewhat a bit of a manual thing. Oh, wait, I could do that. Never mind. Nice. So. Like I said before, I will be getting every single treasures in this game because it's really- honestly, it's really easy to get every single one of them if you, you know, it's really not that hard to begin with. Um, also, there's also extra stages in this world, in each of the worlds, anyways. Um, I believe there is 120 treasures in total. I did not mean to do that. Okay. I think this is like the third time that um, Kirby's sprite looks exactly the same. Um, the first game being um, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, I believe. Fuck. Oh, you fucker! I wanted that cherry! Alright. Ah, uh, Tornado! Fucking broken in this game. Freaking broken. It, tornado in this game is literally downright broken. So, so broken. Alright. Let's go high jump. Fuck. I believe there's a treasure up, um, throughout that other place, too. Wee. 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 Fuck. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. Um, there's one of the rooms that I've completely uh, missed and I couldn't go back. Because it was definitely one of those, um... Oh, yeah. Hi, King DVD. Painting. I believe um, there's also this game is also available on the virtual console. Do we use virtual console? Not this time, fucker. I want the cherry. Um. All right. I thought I could just easily gone pla um pass through. All right. Yeah, here we go. 
Sometimes I keep forgetting that this room was a thing. There you go. Nice. Um... Okay. I just want to make sure that um, I just reach through the end here and I can just um, keep going into stage 5 because sometimes that's literally... Um, that's a thing. I've already gotten the big treasure before for this stage so not really necessary to pick it up again. So I do believe you get like... I think you get like healing items and shit when you pick one up or a one up for that matter. I have to break these barrels. Oh, yeah! Hang on before I do so because, um, it's pretty important. Alright, fuck it. Um, so actually, you see these mini Kirby's on the bottom of the screen here? You get these two together, and once you get three of them together, you get a one-up. Very simplistic, right? Kind of simple. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know why. And I get another one-up. Pretty interesting, right? And we get a treasure. That's really dope. Yeah, this sh stage is really short. It's fairly short. I don't think there wasn't even a big treasure for that stage. I guess that happens sometimes, I'm not sure. I used to play this a lot when I was a kid, so I didn't know... I didn't know like, oh, this is the this is the game where this is the game that not a lot of people necessarily remember too well or not necessarily like too much. Not because it's not because this game is bad or anything. I think it's kind of more like um, I believe the conception is like, oh, this game this game isn't really um the game didn't really necessarily bring so much to the table or something. It's just a really like traditional simplistic Kirby game and I think um But yeah, I dealt with King Nidity quickly. Also the boss rush, if I ever get to it's um at some point. It's really fucking easy. Especially if you're using Tornado. Of course, he doesn't know a thing about the strawberry shortcake. I think I missed a dialogue there. So what's going on? Who's really behind the disappearing shortcake? Suddenly, a whirlwind appears, bringing a band of big-eared strangers. Who are these guys? A band of thieves known as the Squeaks. With treasure chests in tow, they begin to march jauntily away. Kane Dedede acts as quickly as, as a wink. He grabs Kirby and hurls him at the squeaks. What a shot! He throws a perfect strike! The squeaks tatter and lose their balance. They all tumble into a deep chasm, taking the treasure with them. Surely the shortcake is part of the lost loot. It looks like Kirby's quest isn't over yet. Uh, spoiler! King Dedede had nothing to do with the shortcake. Um... Funny enough, uh... It seems like Kirby didn't learn from his mistake. He didn't learn from his, uh... He didn't learn his lesson about accusing King Dedede of something because the first time if you if because if you remember um I think Kirby Kirby thought that King Dedede had something to do with 
with the whole dreams and why not back in Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Even though Kirby, even though King DDD had really nothing to do with it, or it wasn't um, DDD's fault or some shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily remember the backstory for Nightmare in Dreamland. Why did I say Dreamland? Fucking weird. I don't know. 